Hey guys, we are back with another $10 thrift store challenge. Alex, what is the $10 thrift store so challenge? So the $10 thrift store challenge is where we go to multiple thrift stores. Yeah, let's say it's the Goodwill, but maybe we go to one at the coast or St. Vinny's or something like that. So we go there and we try to spend less or maybe a little over 10 bucks. It It's always that... the uneven yeah we try, we try to get as much cool stuff within that ten dollar price point as we can um with covid kind of spiking again we've kind of been hit and miss we've stopped at a, at a couple of places so um the thrift stores have been really sparse lately there has not been a lot out there but we have managed to squeeze out some pretty cool finds so um you gonna go first this time or am i gonna go first you Okay. <laughs> all right. We're going to start with something kind of weird. Okay. All right. Um, so I spent <laughs> all of two whole dollars on a Mega Molecule set. Now, what this is, is it's a plastic science set where you can actually build your own molecules. And it's got instructions in here to build the different molecules and how they work. I just thought it was kind of a, a really kind of a cool science thing. And for two, I, it's got $1.99 on it. I may have paid half price for it, but I can't remember. I think it was just the $2. I, I thought it was kind of a cool little uh, cool little science thing when she gets a little older and starts with chemistry and stuff. So that is the Mega Molecule Set. Mega Molecule Set. Not the Minor Molecule. All right, what do you got first? So what I have first is a book. I like Ever After High. I have a lot of a lot of Ever After High books. I used to watch the show, and this one is Once Upon a Pet, a little a collection of little pet stories. I love it, and I'm almost done with it. <laughs> yeah, and I think we've only paid half price for this, so it was only a dollar. This has a twelve ninety nine cover price, and we got it a dollar ninety nine fifty percent off so you're looking at a buck on this book i mean there's just no better place than the thrift stores and this book is in Mid perfect shape. condition other than somebody wrote inside the cover the price right which, there that they were which is no normal it's normal basically. so and this book is as good as if you went and ordered it from amazon so great item there all right now I spent all of two whole dollars on this awesome science fiction DVD collection set. Um, I can see why somebody probably got rid of it. This one CD does not want to stay in here. But um, I love 50s and 60s era science fiction movies. This has um, The Phantom from Space. It's got The Killer Strews, um, Killers from Space, and Rocky Jones Space Ranger crash of the moons so for two bucks i mean and this is a, like a wood case this is not i don't think this is play well, might be plastic but i mean this is like a hard rigid plastic it's got a nice foam insert the discs are an immaculate um shape you know it's even got hinges on it this was not a cheap item when it came out um i haven't looked online what these are going for but these were all 1950s um 50s movies so which i love these they're so corny and so cheesy really awesome two bucks so you can't beat that okay my next item was a little small but i liked it it's a little dalmatian figure made of clay right no it's resin resin yeah it's um, a little dalmatian puppy she's really cute we only paid what it was 3.99 right bucks, and yeah. and it was 50 percent off it was yellow tag day at st vinnie's so we got it for a dollar 99 and it's it's a cute it's a cute puppy it, i don't think it's branded it doesn't have and there was more of them there she just liked this one this one was he's adorable. yeah he's adorable i mean little knickknacks like this and even a dollar 99 is a little expensive for that but she really wanted that so it's nice great item so i went all out on this one quarter 25 cents 50 great ghost stories now this book the dust jacket is even i mean it's got one bend right here in the dust jacket this book is in mint condition it is an older book it has one marking right here inside of it but i love ghost stories it does have that tiny little rip there but for a quarter this book is like a 24 25 book retail price you know 
a quarter. I will read this book, and I'll probably I think they were going for four to six dollars on amp, on uh, eBay. Um, if the book is good, I'll keep it. If not, I'll just put it up on eBay. I'll sell it for four bucks, make almost a hundred percent profit on it. So, not not bad at all. Really, really kind of cool. Okay, this is my last item. I got this a while ago. But oh yeah. My beautiful pterodactyl. Leave me alone. Nope. Hi. No. I want food. Yes. Nope. And this item was. We kind of pondered about whether to buy this item or not. We, um, we weren't sure if the uh, battery. Because this is battery operated. And I want to say it was like four bucks, four or five dollars yeah. for this item. Which she's a huge dinosaur collector. That's what she collects. So um, the five dollars for it isn't bad. Um, then come to find out it's from a rarer series from i believe hasbro and these things go from like 35 to 60 bucks um loose like this and they can go upwards of a hundred dollars and i package think when it does this since its mouth opens it has like a little venom thing because these aren't like real dinos they're kind of they're just they're toys yeah they're, they're toys but they have the dinosaur. But he's aspect. cool with his motion and didn't doesn't the sound work on it? Yeah. I'll show you. Just because I want him. Yeah, we gotta turn it on and Ow! As it pinches me. <laughs> he's motion tempted. Okay. Well, maybe it's not maybe the batteries are dead. Probably. But oh, I forgot. <sighs> Okay, he doesn't right. want to cooperate. So he doesn't want to cooperate. The batteries are probably dead, but he was working. Um, really, really cool item. Again, a really expensive item, you know, and something for her to add to her collection. It really, this is the kind of stuff that you'll find when you're out, out looking around. So he's really cool. Your last item, which is kind of a little cheesy. <sighs> all right, guys. So uh, it was all of a whole dollar ninety nine. It was on 50% off everything day. And it is in almost perfect condition. The Mad Magazine. What? Me worry game? Now, as a kid, I loved Mad Magazine. I loved Mad Magazine. Um, Alfred E. Newman and the, all the, the cheesiness that came along with him. Um, I didn't expect this game to be complete. Um, it is in great condition. It has a little bit of problem right here with the box where it looks like, like it got a little bit of moisture. Other than that, this box is in great condition. This, I think, came out in 76 or 78 is what I found out. Um, it's not a very good game, but it is absolutely complete. All the pieces are in there. All the inserts are in there. Everything is in perfect condition. It doesn't look like it has ever been played. Now... Um, for two bucks, you cannot beat this to me. This is a great piece of nostalgia, a piece of my childhood. I didn't have this game, but I loved Mad Magazine. Had I known it was around, I probably would have had this board game. Um, it's just really that goofy fun that Mad was uh, really well known for. And for two bucks, you can't beat it. This thing goes from anywhere from twenty to twenty-eight dollars online, um, depending on on the condition. So, um, you know, you just you can't you can't beat. For what it is for someone like me that collects a lot of stuff and resells i do resell although this is not going to be resold i'm going to keep this in the collection if nothing else i will um take all the components out put them in a box that i have full of other components and we'll put it on the backdrop just as you know visual a, a visual for the for the backdrop so this is the kind of stuff you can go if you if you really like this kind of stuff you can go out and you can find it you do have to be a little lucky and you got to be in the right place at the right time because stuff like this goes quickly, goes very quickly. You know, um, this, for example, this dinosaur here, there, I think there were like four or five dinosaurs at this place and they had them behind the counter and they were different ones than this style, but they were all dinosaurs. And we went in the next day and they were all gone. So you kind of have to act on them when you get them. So there you go, guys. That is another $10 thrift store challenge. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, you know, if you guys found some cool stuff out there thrifting, make sure to put a comment down below. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that bell icon for notifications, and we will see you on the next one, guys. Bye. Bye.